Salam, today I'm going to give you some tips to wake up for Salat al Fajr. So, first, you need to know that the Prophet Salam said that uh, no salah is more burdensome to, to the hypocrites than the Fajr prayer and the Aisha prayer. Uh, in other words, this is how you recognize a hypocrite in Islam because they don't wake up for Fajr or they don't stay late uh, at night for Aisha prayer. They go to bed before praying Aisha. So one thing, the first thing is to buy an Azan clock. Um, I've got one at home. It's really useful. So you just need to set the alarms, you know, the, the prayer times. And then uh, you have nothing to do except during summer times, winter time. So you have to change it. Uh, from time to time, you can just... Um, edit uh, the, the prayer times if you want um, but it's really really useful alhamdulillah the second thing is to set three or more alarms in your cell phone five minutes apart which means that if you stop the first one then the second one is gonna uh, run and then the third and the fourth and the fifth that's a way for you to remember that you have to wake up for Salat al-Fajr. So you can set them five minutes apart or 10 minutes apart, whatever. But that's another way. Buy a rolling clock. <laughs> yeah, so this is a clock. Uh, wherever you place it, it's going to roll. The moment it's going to start ringing, the, the alarm is going to start ringing, it's going to start moving. Uh, if it's on a, sh uh, on a shelf, it's going to jump. Uh, if it's uh, on the floor, it's going to run, whatever, which means that you will have to get up from your bed to go and stop it, which is a good way for you to, to wake up and to be aware and uh, to, to pray Fajr and not to go back to your bed, just stop the, the alarm clock and then go back to sleep. No, you have to get up to stop it and then you can pray Surat Al-Fajr. Set the sound of your alarm to the fullest. Yeah, this is really important. Uh, sometimes we don't do that because we think that we're going to disturb uh, someone. Like, for instance, for people who have babies, they don't want the baby to, to wake up because of the alarm clock. But actually, you should do that because it's going to force you to wake up and to stop it because you're going to be scared you know, to wake up the baby. So do it. Set the, the, the sound to the fullest. Place your alarm clock or your cell phone far from your bed to, to force you to get up. Yeah, this is really important because if you leave it next to you, you're going to have this habit, you know, just to um, use your hand just to stop it and then go back to, to sleep. So place it somewhere very far so that you're sure that you will have to get up to stop it. Buy a timer that will turn the light on automatically at Fajr time. That's, that's a really good thing for those who can't sleep with the light on. Uh, so you plug your, your, your lamp, whatever, and uh, at the time of Fajr, um, and inshallah, it's going to help you wake up. Ask a friend to call you at Fajr time. Uh, a lot of people are doing that nowadays, especially revert people. Um, yeah, just hope that your friend is waking up at Fajr time. <laughs> Avoid to eat too much at night. Yeah, because if you eat too much, you're going to have difficulties to wake up in the morning. So it's better to eat light uh, at dinner. Um, and the last one is have a nap during the day. The Prophet uh, advised us to have a nap during the day. He said that only shayatin uh, are not having nap during the day. So if you have a nap during the day, you're going to feel less tired at night. So you're going to have, you're going to need less time to sleep, which is a good thing. So you be able to wake up early to pray Salat al-Fajr. So that was it. I hope it's going to help you to wake up for, for Salat al-Fajr. May Allah help us um, perform our Salah properly. And I will see you next time in another video, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.